extreme versions of the TriCaster feature isoquarter technology. Now, isoquarter technology allows you to record multiple streams of video, either high def or standard def, simultaneously. Now, in a 450 Extreme, you can record up to four streams of video, and in an 850 Extreme, you can record eight streams of video simultaneously. Let's go ahead and see how that works. Click on the gear next to the record button, and this brings up the isoquarter interface. And it starts out just like the standard recording interface in a standard TriCaster, allowing you to record the program output. And you can choose whether you want to record program out or auxiliary out or any of the incoming camera sources which is kind of nice. Now, you do have some options up here. You have the ability to name the recording, to give the recording a base name, and this is going to increment itself each time you start and stop the recording process, so the base name with a number after it. You also have the ability to drop your recordings directly into one of the DDRs as soon as you're done. Now, here in the ISO quarter area, you also have the ability to add more streams of video that are going to be recorded right down here. You can add in an 850 up to seven more streams and in a 450 up to three more streams. Now you do have the ability to adjust what you're recording on any individual stream. This means you could record program out over and over again. You also have the ability to choose what file format you want to record in. So you can record program out in MPEG up here and an MOV version down here. You could even do it again and have an AVI version here. So the same output recorded in different formats to go to different things as soon as you're done with the recording. Now, you also have the ability to record auxiliary out instead of program out. So if we come down here and we record auxiliary out, the auxiliary output can be configured. This would allow you to change the output of the auxiliary output, meaning that you could record the resolution that your output of your session is set to along with an alternative resolution on output. So you could record high def and standard def at the same time or multiple resolutions of high def at the same time. Now, when you set up the eight streams in a TriCaster or the four streams in a TriCaster 450, you're allowed to have two streams of video recorded to any single hard drive in the system. And you'll notice by default, they're all trying to record to my D drive. And there's a warning down here telling me that I can't do that. Only two streams are allowed per drive. So I can come down here now and start setting these other streams up to the alternative drives that are available. There are four drives available in a TriCaster 850 Extreme. And you'll notice now that the warning goes away because we have all of the different streams now going two per drive. Now another interesting thing about isoquarter technology is within the TriCaster Extreme versions, you have the ability to change the switcher interface and you can modify it and you can rename the buttons on the switcher and you can rename the preview monitors for each of the things that you're monitoring on the switcher as well. And this not only happens on the main interface but also on the multi viewer. So I'm going to go ahead and make camera one Don's camera. We'll just type Don in for both the label on the monitor and the label on the button. And now when we go back to ISO quarter, you'll see that camera one is automatically renamed to Don. So you can go in and you can name your input specifically what they are, Don's camera, Susie's camera, main output, and those names will then automatically be added to those ISO quarter streams that you're recording within the TriCaster. It's a very powerful feature available in TriCaster Extremes, and it will change the way you look at live multi-camera production forever.